Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and uh, Libra Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, January 28th to February 3rd, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Libra Star Sign therefore is going to resonate in a different level for a different situation situations for every single different Libra as you guys are different so for that reason in this video I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but ultimately uh, you will have to align this general reading with your personal situation to make it a more like a, a personal reading now if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through the tarot just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing so <clears throat> it does look like that a very big thing is awaiting you throughout the week <laughs> That is displayed here with these couple of cards. As a matter of fact, that is going to be so big thing that you may be afraid contributing into for a couple of reasons. Uh, you may think that you are uh, that you are going to underperform, or you may think that that is a hoax or rather like a a, a joke. So. Following the example here, you may be approached by a, such a handsome guy or a girl and they may sh display interest in you and you may think or kind of like you may have the lower, um, the low self-value, if you want to say it that way, that that is unreal, something like that. So definitely look at it, these cards, I want to explain it that way. The general topic, it does display that big thing, the person or the project or the deal, the job as well, and yet the core of the situation here or how you are going to um, act upon it or how you're going to take on it, it shows worries, it shows fears, it shows self-doubts that you may not be able to capitalize on it, you know, because achieving it is one thing, sustaining it, it is completely, completely different thing. On another hand, these cards are pointing that you have learned your lesson, you realized that there is no easy way to success or to happiness as well and this time around these cards are pointing that you are going to take the precautionary measures throughout the week or uh, to create that simple yet very calculative plan how um, of how you can deprive your fruit your future from mistakes which is a, a great great thing but let's dive deeper into the general topic of the week, which is the Knight of the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles it does represent a, a general stability, either into one career or either into one relationship. And as well, it's very potent card for those who are searching for some. So definitely throughout the week, if you are single, for example, uh, you will have an interaction with a person that will display interest in you in a certain extent. Now, how you're going to take on that interest, well, that depends entirely on you. Once again, if you are very hesitant, you know, here uh, with, the, uh, with, the, with the Nine of Swords, very biased about your expectations and etc., etc., things aren't going to get very, how can I place it, very productive. But if you follow the advice, and you actually take on that as a new shore for you to conquer, as a, a new possibility to grow, you know, and you overcome your fears, you put your pride on the shelf, uh, and you recognize that uh, past is past, you know, you learned your lesson and this time around, you can perform better than what you did back in the past, then things are definitely going to happen to you in a positive uh, way. The additional card to the Nine of Pentacles, that is going to be the Two of Wands, so we do have passive neutrals here and that is a, a very peculiar uh, combination because what these cards are, are expressing is that you will find it will find yourself excuse me sick of being trashed and trashed is the exact word by the universe 
uh, that you are always deprived not just from option of options available but let's say from ways out from uh, happiness uh, this is a very typical situation where people are finding themselves cheated by their partner for example and they are very they are sick of it they don't want to experience that any longer they draw the line they recognize that they deserve much more you know and instead of wasting time trying to fix something that the other person doesn't want to be fixed at all they redirect their uh, their efforts and their resources in general into new shores to conquer because these cards are also pointing that there is someone else who is uh, displaying interest in you as well if you don't see it it is because you are until this very moment dived into your current worries toward a, a person that doesn't want to be with you in general but uh, <clears throat> All in all, these cards as a topic of the week, it does point that you will um, have the opportunity here, uh, here Libras, to strike the deals, the deal of the century for your career, to find the job of the year as well, and to uh, catch the big fish regarding your relationship uh, life, but only, only if you overgrow your personal expectations. These cards here are pointing that you're worth much more than you are thinking or than you have eyes on right now. So let's say you have an eyes on a specific person, well, you're worth more than them. And if they deny you throughout the week, that is even better because now you can redirect your <clears throat> your efforts into a, a different place which you will be truly valued as what you are. The next card here that is going to be the Nine of Swords and as I said this is about worry and anxiety and uh, it is this worry is about can you be able to to kind of like close the deal. As we said deal of the century here or the person are you be able to sustain it because the, the Four of uh, Wands it's about closing a cycle it's about achieving a cycle of development so taking it that way uh, you are uh, let's say hanging out with a person and closing the deal means that you traverse this hanging out into a relationship just for example and as these are active enemies it means that you may be afraid to display uh, or you are to be afraid here to display uh, what you feel, what you want, how you want it as well, and etc, etc. And that was all about regarding the fear of denial as well. So, for example, once again, if you, let's say, you want a, a promotion, you may be afraid to uh, approach your boss because, you know, deep in your head may be uh, stuck a thought that if you ask for a promotion, you may get fired for it, all right? But even if you get fired for it here, it, it, this is actually there making you a favor because you will find a, a different place where uh, you will be much more valued. So what these, uh, what these cards here are pointing as a core of the situation is that no one can do your job, all right? And no matter how much um, afraid you are, no matter how much petrified you are to do what you think is right for you, no one else is going to give you warranties for it and no one is going to do it for you as well so that's why it is important throughout that week to overcome your fear of failure uh, of failure all right to to overcome the uh the fear of that you will underperform, the fear of that you are going to be denied and etc etc and just ask for it guys because if you don't ask for it, the answer always going to be no. Or in the most cases, in almost all cases, is going to be no. And even if you get denied as you ask for it, well, at least you will know how things are standing and you will not waste your time with uh, futile endeavors here. So you chase someone as a suitor, you know, and... Uh, they give you hints, but yet what they give you, it's simply not enough. So with these cards, you may have the hope, you know, that things are going to change. Well, with these cards, unlikely, right? So what it is, it is. And you need to focus on what can give you stability and what can give you 
future development than uh, than hoax. That that is what these cards are pointing, and you have to as well. Like I said, overcome your fear to ask for it, to see how things are standing, and readopt your strategies according to how the things are standing. But definitely, regardless of what you're going to find, as soon as you overcome your fear here, uh, it will an uh, awesome opportunity will unfold itself in front of you, or it's going to be given to you through which you can achieve a great heights of improvement or great heights of personal development as well. Generally, your fear is the only thing that holds you down from development, that holds you down from positive development, potential, and you have to overcome it. The next card which points to the challenges that you need to overcome here, we do have the Four of uh, Pentacles with the Four of Swords, so we do have double fours, actually three fours here is what we do have. So the four is the number of stability. And as these cards are, su are suggesting, and, and they are passive enemies here, they are suggesting that you may uh, hope that there will be better time for you, for you to do so, all right? And that is also kind of like dictated by the fear. Um, it is no different than uh, you know. I will ask for a promotion, but I will ask it tomorrow. I will ask tomorrow for it because my boss right now is aggravated with something else. And constantly making an excuses for yourself not to do what you have to do. Basically, that is the predicament that you are going to face. Um, to make excuses not to do what you have to do, what you know that needs to be done in order to take the the crest of the tide here. Um, <clears throat> which gives you higher future potential of growth. Because again, once again guys, the opportunity for you to catch the big fish regarding your relationship or the amazing deal of yourself or the, the job that you require is going to be given to you one way or another. You know, it's, but it may not be like someone is knocking on your door and proposing your job. It's, it, it, could, it could come through a, a friend of yours who is sharing that they have another friend of theirs that has a, a open job, so their company and etc. etc. I mean, you got to be open for opportunities here because the Two of Swords is also about that, exploring uh, the options available exploring the shores that you can conquer right but yet you need to be brave enough in order to take them and making excuses constantly for your behalf that you will have to step outside of your comfort zone to do something that goes out of your ways it's a thing that can hold you down so how you you can overcome that is by um, consulting yourself with those uh, faithful companions that are ask, actually contributing for your well-being like uh, let's say that you do have a, a very good relationship with your mother is not going to is not going to hurt if you consult w with herself what is, with her excuse me uh, what is your situation what you think that has to be done what will be the consequences of it and etc etc because you are going to obtain an, an um, independent third-party perspective upon it and that will will may or may not you know give you a, a different vision upon your situation and yet is going to once again expand your vision the four of swords is all about that consulting yourself with faithful companion or with a an authorized help as well because that could be as well uh, cons consult consultations with psychotherapists, with a, a couples therapist as well. It could be business consultant either and etc. etc. It's basically the, um, the insecurity that you may have through your fears to make this step which is outside of your comfort zone is going to be compensated by the positive uh, feedback or the outlook that other people gives you as soon as they hear what your situation is. But definitely in order to grasp and to seize this opportunity here given to you by the Nine of Pentacles, you will have to do something that goes against your comfort, that against your co that against your zone of comfort and against your ways either and again you have to be brave enough in order to do it the next card or the last card that we do have this is the uh, tree of pentacles which is a tree of four wands excuse me which is the um, 
the guidance the tarot is offering to you accompanied with the ace of swords once again we do have conversations ace of swords is all about displaying the truth and asking for different opinion in order for you to obtain the accurate diagnosis so what we do have here as well is that you should not rush it that is important as well you rushing your situation it is not that you may um it's not that you may screw it, but you will make it more stressful than, uh, than it needs to be. Additionally, this, um, this combination here as a guidance says that no sacrifice, no victory. No sacrifices, no growth. The Ace of Swords plays the role not just only for conversations, but it plays the role of the drastic actions and the drastic measures that one takes when one finds themselves cornered, all right? For example, you are working the same job over and over again for five years, no promotion, no raise of salary, no nothing, all right? And that is kind of like the last drop in the cup and you take the drastic decision here to ask for such or if it doesn't happen you move along and find yourself a different job all right so this these cards are pointing you that growth is achieved only through one pushing themselves above their limit and it is what you need to do throughout the week but you need to make it smart right not frantic but smart first you need to recognize why you haven't done it by now what you are afraid of what could be the consequences of doing so can you face those consequences and finally advise yourself with a person that have been there or that it is their line of work their specialty and take your decision accordingly to what they tell you that will be the best possible approach toward the situation so that was the tarot reading for you Libras and now what we are going to do is shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are going to tell us is a uh, event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. All right, so the first one, this is the lilies, and the lilies are speaking for um, <clears throat> elders, they speak for sex as well, they speak for family, and in generally they speak for some certain amount of growth. Then we do have the radar, and the radar, it is a about new beginning, it is a about new information coming around, news as well, and in generally stirring a, a situation. And the next one that is going to be the tower. The tower stands for seclusion, it stands for government institution, but also it stands for business, all right? So what we do have is that a uh, lucrative or beneficial stir of business. This is what will be the event happening. Should you grab the tide and take advantage of this event? Well, that depends entirely on you. But we definitely have a, a business event stirring happening here that can propose to you a um, huge amount of growth uh, business achievements as well, lucrative undertakings and etc etc but also as the radar it is associated with news it is important to make the um, your research very carefully because as we said with the tarot you may have you may be hesitant to take your approach with it because you may think that you are going to underperform. The fact that the tower card stands as the business here and not the fish, it means that it's going to be a very important thing. It's going to be very, um, how can I place it? Not important, but it will has a uh, very, it will be a very responsible undertaking it will require great sense of responsibility so also it will require a, a huge devotion of your behalf but it definitely going to be a lucrative thing so that being said guys this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading 
for uh, January 28th to February 3rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was a general reading for Libra Star Sign. And for that reason, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But ultimately, you will have to align that general reading with your personal situation to make it more personal. If you want me to do that for you or to analyze your personal situation through tarot cards, just like I did for the examples in this video, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.